Jackson here, how are you? Welcome to the channel, nice to have you. So I've got an absolute cracker for you, super quick little tutorial about how to take query loops, you know, displaying posts in grids or what have you, and with one single line of CSS, turn that into a masonry display. You know masonry, I'm, look, look it up if you don't know, you probably know it. Um, there is a little caveat with this. Uh, so stay tuned for the end of the video, well, I'll tell you all about it, but I want to know if you spot it first. Let me know if you spot it before the end of the video. Anyway, let's get stuck into query loop masonry displays. Right, masonry, nothing up my sleeves. His hands, he's got a page with his portfolio on in a query loop. Let's go have a look at that in the back end. There's the portfolio page. And yes, indeed, we have a post template there is a grid now we could change the featured image to original which would give us well you can't actually see it on here um if we update that go back to the front end and look at that you see it's now the original aspect ratios but not much masonry action happening at the moment so let's do a couple of things on the post template we need to add a class we'll call it hands masonry copy that for future ref and on the post template as well, we're actually going to make that single column, not a grid. Let's update that. Let's go back to our front end and refresh. Now, here we go. One line of CSS gives us masonry. Let's have a search for our hands masonry. And there's our UL. The contents is all the images, the post grid. Let's add a new rule. We're just going to make that hands masonry. And ready? Column count, three. I told you, I did tell you. Now, <laughs> let's copy that rule and we'll get that into our theme. I've got the theme opened in my code editor. We'll open up styles and we'll go down and put in our masonry, oh, masonry and paste that in. Now, the only, the only issue here being that we need to make this responsive, show you what I mean. If we go to responsive mode, so you see, uh, well, that's kind of okay. It's starting to look a little squished. Well, okay, where well, it bounces into that again, that's pretty cool. But that's starting to look squished, too squished, and it obviously there's no, there's no responsiveness. But easy peasy to fix, as always, we're gonna do at media, max width, and let's just see what we want it to change at. So I think around there, about probably around there, we want to go to two. So say 782 at max width 782px. Curly brackets. Hands, hands masonry needs to be two columns. And then we'll just have a look at that. Oh, save that. There we go. That's a bit sexier isn't it is it not and then when we get to probably 400 let's call it 400 so we'll copy the whole of that and make that 400 and we'll make it one column save that refresh that oh it's actually 400 so we're going to need to go a little bit smaller there you go nice 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 there you go. Piece of cake, no? I did, I did say it was easy and pretty quick. So what about that caveat? Did you spot it? Okay, so what it is, is when you apply columns, CSS columns, it's a very old CSS property, actually. You, the, the, the order doesn't go, which you would expect to see, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera. Um, it actually goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that was that's the caveat with this approach. Personally, I don't mind. I've even got live sites that are blogging sites that have that. But anyway, I think it's a small price to pay for quite an astounding hack, a uh, cheat, a get by, a workaround, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, if you'd like a bit more block theming, there's another video for you right there. But until next time, I shall see you later.